What's up everyone? John Rich from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of this guy, the Samsung Ativ S Neo. I keep thinking I should be dodging bullets in slow motion. Uh, it is the latest Windows 8 phone from Sprint and Samsung. Let's go ahead and open it up and see how it looks. So here is the box for the Samsung Ativ S Neo. It tells you everything I gotta know, but let's go through it and I will share all that information with you. Here's a picture of the phone. It's telling you right on the box, you've got a hike with Jammy, which is coincidentally a pretty awesome name. Uh, nothing else that exciting here on the box. It and it's Sprint's box, which is made from 100% recyclable material, which is always kind of nice. Let's go ahead and open this sucker up. And there it is, looking eerily familiar to a Samsung Galaxy S2. Push it off the side for just a quick second. Let's see what else we're going to have living inside of this recycled box. We've got paperwork for getting started. Also, Sprint always includes a recycle bag, which is really nice. You don't have to throw away all your old cell phones and their old batteries. Uh, so yeah, Sprint will recycle them for you. Uh, we also have a charge and sync cable. It's the sort of generic micro USB variety and a Samsung wall warts. But that is not why you are here. You are here to check out some Windows Phone 8 action. Uh, let's power this guy on and I'll run through everything this phone has. It looks very nice. Uh, it is a 4.8 inch screen, uh, which is pretty nice size as far as Windows Phone usually go, uh, with a 1280 by 720 pixel resolution. That's a 306 PPI. Uh, Windows Phone 8 at launch being powered by a 1.4 gigahertz Qualcomm dual core processor. It's got a single gigabyte of RAM and 16 gigs of storage, but you can expand that with a micro SD card, which I'm gonna assume lives somewhere under the back here. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Uh, we also have an eight megapixel camera, which is pretty decent. Uh, we got a 1.9 megapixel shooter right there on the front, 802.11 AB GNN, Bluetooth 4.0, uh, a 2000 milliamp hour battery, uh, and that is the gist of the phone. Uh, coming around, we've got that physical Windows Home button. We've got capacitive search and back buttons. Uh, we've got volume rocker up and down. We've got your power and lock button and your obligatory camera button, which I really like having a dedicated camera button. 3.5 millimeter headset jack, noise canceling microphone. There's your charge and sync port. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this back off. Let's see if that is where uh, your expandable storage is going to be. And this is an LTE capable device on Sprint's um, gearing up and uh, becoming more ubiquitous LTE network. All right, so we've got the phone all booted up here and ready to go in a familiar modern UI look. Uh, so you've got live tiles, obviously, and you can resize them to any size you want, no matter what that is. I will say I forgot how easy to use Windows Phone 8 was. Um, I let my father use a Windows Phone 8 device. Uh, he had never used uh, really any smartphone before, and he took to it really quickly, and it was very intuitive for him to learn. It was kind of fun to watch. Um, so just very, very, very easy to navigate. Uh, we'll slide on over here, take a look at all the apps. Some Samsung specific things, but for the most part, uh, it's stock Windows Phone and some Sprint things uh, in here as well. This does have NFC support, so you can do uh, NFC-like beam things. Uh, for instance, if we go into photos here, and if we scroll on over, uh, you will see there's a TV beam and you could send things just as you would with NFC and you tap the back and click the picture uh, to send. So nice that they've got that here on board. Uh, this is a 720p screen, but it does look really, really nice. Uh, the Windows phone tiles, I think, look beautiful on Samsung screens. They did a really nice job here. I'm excited to take a look at it, see how it performs. I'm even more excited to take a look at Sprint's LTE network. I'll drive up to Los Angeles and take a look at it. We are stuck with... Um, the old faithful 3G here uh, in Southern California, at least in Orange County for the time being. That photo right there, by the way, every Windows phone I've had for the life of me, I thought I took a picture of where I was parked in a parking lot so I realized that was just a default picture that got shipped uh, on a Windows phone. I kept seeing it on other people's phones. It's like, why do you have my picture of where I parked my car? Because I have a really bad sense of direction, uh, but that's just me. If there's anything you guys want to see, be sure to let us know. Um, we'll leave in the comments down below. This has been a first look at the Samsung Ativ S Neo. What's up, everyone? It's Ashley. Thanks so much for watching that most recent video. If you enjoyed it, please click on the word subscribe right underneath me to get tons of more tech videos from us here at Techno Buffalo. We have got unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of here on the channel. If you're in the mood for more technology, just click right over here to check out some of our most recent videos. See you next time, humans.